Hi everybody, I'm Coach Carolyn. Welcome to my channel and today we're here to talk about our toes and the impact that they can have on our contact, on our golf swing, on our path and the entire motion. So let's do it. All right, so toes. Yeah, here we were all thinking that what we do up here really matters in the golf swing, but trust me, what you do down here can really, really matter and does really, really matter to your golf swing and your performance out on the golf course. So your toes can really help you with your swing path and your spine angle. And that's a thought that I really love because it's not technically a swing thought. It's something that you can do before you start the swing and then just maintain it throughout the swing. So it's actually much less difficult to think about that because a swing thought for me is like, okay, I'm over the ball. And as I'm swinging, I have to start thinking about doing it right. But this is a really a setup thought. And then you just keep it there. You don't change it again. So you just do it and it stays throughout your swing. So I love this when I struggle with contact because when I personally struggle with contact and that applies to a lot of people, they come out of their spine angles and they kind of shift their weight forward to their toes throughout the downswing. So what this looks like is this. They're up here and then they're like whoop, and kind of me losing my spine angle, I pretty much have to put my weight on my toes much more, right? You're standing up, your weight shifts forward. Also because we're putting power behind it. A lot of people wanna be like, I wanna hit the ball, right? So you gotta generate some power to try to shallow the golf club for whatever reason it may be. There's different reasons in the downswing and they wanna create power and then this happens. So now imagine if we were to lift our toes and I'm not suggesting to just put my weight onto my heels completely. It's not what I'm saying because we don't wanna exaggerate that either. Because if we did, then you know, again, golf is a game of opposites. If we literally put all of our weight into our heels at the setup, then our body would try to shoot forward even more during impact. We don't want to do this. But however, what we can do is we can just lift all of our toes up a little bit in our, in our shoes. And you won't even see this if you were in golf shoes or trainers. Minimally, you will anybody even notice that you're doing it. I promise you, if you don't tell your golf buddies, they will not even know you're doing it. But so what this looks like is I'm standing over the ball, I'm setting up, and then I have my weight you know, this way distributed pretty evenly, kind of like right here. Um, the, I guess the first third of my foot, and that's about right. And now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep my weight there, but I'm gonna lift my toes. So now I really feel like I'm standing on my, the balls of my feet, but my toes aren't really touching the ground, which that's the point here, right? And you can do this on the course, you can do this on the range, you can do this with any swing, you can hit balls with it, you can do practice swings with it, whatever you feel comfortable. But why we're doing this is because it's gonna help you keep your behind, your butt back, because your toes are up and it's a lot harder to shift. You have to now really shift hard to get on those toes because they're not even on the ground. So it really kind of keeps your butt back, which keeps your spine angle, and the spine angle is this right here. That wasn't graceful, but sorry. You, you know, you, know gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is the spine angle. And when you come out of it, you're changing it, right? We don't want to change this because this is what could, the rotation around the spine angle should stay the same and be maintained. But if your butt goes forward, it will change. However, if you turn up like back and then your butt stays back, this kind of change in the spine angle for it to increase, if you will, actually is somewhat desirable. There is some tour players out there that are on the top of their backswing and then they get more spine angle. But what happens, they kind of push their butt back. So this is what this drill really helps with. And what else that does is it actually lowers your hands a little bit at impact. So what happens if you do it wrong and if you kind of shoot your weight forward, your hands are now here, right? Versus if you were to set up again, your hands were down here. So now you have a big, big difference from here to here, which really kind of the centripetal force is taken over and you have a very hard time controlling your hand path through impact. So if you are able to keep your weight more stable, that rhymed. <laughs> if, you have, if you're able to keep your weight more stable, let's finish the sentence now, Carolyn, because you're so easily entertained, then you can actually maintain a much better and more consistent path through impact. And it also can be a little bit closer to your body at impact, which that you see a lot with the really good players. They actually don't get very far away from their bodies in terms of their hands during impact. So let me show you a couple of practice swings like this, and then we're gonna hit some balls. Actually two balls, because I only have two balls. That can, that's some. All right, so I'm gonna take my regular setup. And I'm gonna have my weight kind of on the first third of my foot and on the balls, and I'm going to lift my toes. You barely saw that, but I did it. Now I'm gonna take the club back and through. 
super, super well-balanced golf swing here. Makes it a lot easier to be well-balanced. And now we're gonna hit one for you. I've done this many times during my playing career. Played around with lifting maybe the toes on one foot or on both feet. They can do different things or the same thing depending on what you're using it for. Toes up, the board a swing, and keep them there. Really nice and balanced little baby draw. I hope you enjoyed this little tip. I sure love these and it's really gonna help you stay on track and get back on track if you ever get off track, which we all do on the back nine when we're tired, when we're kind of out of sync. So make use of your toes. They can be really helpful and they can really help you maintain that balance because a more balanced setup and a more balanced golf swing is gonna lead to more consistent contact every single time. So see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.